Welcome back guys! We're here for the next few days of New Horizons. Um, I think in this one I do have to time travel a few times just to be able to get some stuff done. Uh, these next few days for some reason were just really boring. I was having a really hard time finding something to do to try to make the day pass by and get some stuff done to make sure that we um, just go over a couple more milestones to be able to get Isabel here and start our trek to getting to three stars. So there's not too much going on today. Um, it's just Blathers opened the upgraded museum, which is awesome. We get to give him the sea creatures that we were able to dive for the other day. Um, we weren't able to give those to him as the 15 items that he needed for donations to be able to have this museum upgraded. So we're just gonna clean this part up, give this stuff to him, and then we will be back to see what else we are doing today. I was so excited when I walked out of the museum. I saw Sahara. I didn't think that she would be visiting my island so soon. I was pretty excited. She's my favorite island visitor, like Gulliver and Gulliver, or the pirate version. <laughs> um, and Flick and CJ, she's my definite favorite out of all of them. With Sahara, you can buy three different rugs, a small, a medium, a large. And for each rug that you buy, she will give you uh, tickets. And if you get five tickets, then you get to get a mysterious wallpaper or a mysterious flooring for, I guess, basically free after buying all those rugs. And then after you use those tickets, you can also get an additional mysterious wallpaper or flooring. It will be different from the one that you got with the tickets, which is always really fun because then you get that extra little surprise at the end. I am like a kid in a candy shop whenever it comes to Sahara. So this is the upgraded house. Um, here I am just showing you the simple red mat that we got. That's a small one. We got the medium is a snowflake rug. Look how cute that is. I love it. Um, so my big rug is this peach checkered rug. It's very bright and vibrant. So I don't know if I'm really going to use it. But the mangrove wall, different. I don't know if I really have a use for it, but I'm probably going to keep it anyway. The dig site flooring, I've never seen this. Like how cool would this be in a basement or something like that? Try to use it for like something mysterious. This is the wallpaper I have always wanted. I was so excited when I got this. I did a little screech. Um, it's just so cute. I've always wanted to do like a little diner in my house. So I think I'm going to use that. And I guess we'll see where that goes. I was so excited. But that was the upgraded house. Uh, that's how big it was for the second upgrade. Um, that's whenever you owe 198000 As you can <laughs> tell, Nook is, of course, begging for my bells. So I'm just going to go through the different stuff that I go through every day, like checking the recycling box, see if there's anything cool in there. Nook shop, you always know, you never know, like, if you're gonna get something cool out of these. And of course, get my KK song. I am obsessing over KK songs. I love to collect them. We're gonna go over, say hey to Tom Nook today. Um, he did say in his announcements this morning that he would like to do a customization, little DIY workshop um, overview. He's going to teach us how to customize our furniture that we DIY, or there are actually some pieces of furniture that you can buy from Nook's Cranny that you can customize. There's very little things that you can customize though, it's usually just a piece of fabric that you throw on it and whatnot, so nothing too extravagant, but this is definitely a really cool part because I love having this simple personalization option in this game. Other games you really didn't have that. like. The furniture sets were always one color, they all matched each other completely, whereas with these you can mix and match like different wood colors, which is really cool. The creators of New Horizons really made sure that you were able to put some cool creativity and personalization into this game. It's the best part. After the workshop, I decided to ask Tom Nook if there was anything that we should do. He said no, so I was pretty bummed. So we're gonna go meet Jacob. 
He is our first villager to move in out of the three housing kits that we put up. He's a bird, obviously. <laughs> very colorful. Really cool. I like this villager a lot. I actually had him in the very first island that I had built up back in March last year. Um, so definitely, I don't think I'm going to be keeping him, but that's okay. He's going to be cool while he lasts. So I decided to go say hey to my other villagers today. Tybolt was actually doing a little DIY himself, so I decided to grab one of those. Always cool to stock up on those. Um, Nook's Granny didn't really have much today. I was kind of sad, except for this extra DIY I did find, uh, Wildest Dreams. I will show you what comes in this after this is done. Um, that vacuum right there, I actually ended up getting in the mail from the Home Academy today. I was, like, kind of bummed. Usually you get, like, a really cool double sofa that you can place in your house and help decorate, but they gave me a vacuum. Yeah, kind of insulting. <laughs> After checking out some things in the shop, uh, Timmy was telling me about turnips. And I don't remember if I accidentally skipped over a Sunday and missed Daisy May, but I do remember getting a letter from her that she would be stopping by soon. So he was telling me about how we can trade them in and whatnot, but not on Sundays. But these are the Wildest Dreams DIYs. Um, definitely some cute things in there. I do love the Ironwood set. That is probably my favorite set besides the Mush DIYs. Um, definitely goes with everything. You can put something anywhere and it just fits right in with those ironwood DIYs. So we skipped over a day, sadly, sorry about that, but there was nothing else that we could do with Tom Nook, but super excited because Leaf decided to stop by. I love Leaf. He is just the sweetest little thing. I mean, like, who couldn't love that little face of his? I love that we are able to buy the shrubs and whatnot from him and the flowers that you don't always see in the shop he definitely brings some cute things and it's something new to this game pumpkin starts which we got back in fall i definitely love those i have a huge pumpkin patch in my other island i love how adorable they are and with the spooky um diy set you are able to pick pumpkins and customize with those so i bought a bunch of stuff I mean, a bunch of stuff from Leaf. Um, I saw that Harvey was over here, so I decided to say hey to him, too. Just telling us about how he has his house up for a setup that you can go take pictures at. So we were going to go meet Wendy, but Tybalt decided to give me a little gift. No problem at all. I love getting gifts. I love giving them, too. But this is Wendy. Cute little blue sheep. She will not be staying. Sorry. But her house is adorable. I love this wallpaper. This is definitely one of my favorite wallpapers. It's very bright and airy and cute. Very feminine. So today's Nook's Cranny has some pretty cool stuff. I actually like this stuff. I like to stock up on books because I like to make a lot of DIYs out of books. Also going to grab that pendulum clock because I love the antique series. And it looks like I'm going to be getting the darker wood for them. Um, pretty nice. I love the light one and the dark one. So I hope that I will maybe get a mix of them. I don't know. Sometimes you can get some really cool stuff from Jolly Red's boat. If you don't get a certain color in the series, you can just usually get something else from him. So these are all the flowers that I bought from Leaf today. I'm going to be spreading them out throughout the island because you will learn down the road that Isabel loves flowers. Like you can literally not have enough flowers on your island. So I really wanted to get a jump start with that because honestly it seems to be discouraging whenever she's constantly telling you just add more flowers just add more flowers i'll give you three stars just give me more flowers <laughs> so it gets really annoying so i'm going to also pick the rest of the weeds on the island and let me tell you how long that took i could have fallen asleep doing it but the best thing about picking all these weeds is that you get more bells selling them to Leaf than you would selling them to Nook's Cranny. As you can see here, I'm going to sell all of the weeds that I picked. I don't remember exactly how much I ended up picking in total. This was just a fraction of it. So I definitely scored big time, I feel, on weeds um, just selling them to Leaf. I should have really honestly just stocked up on all of them. Tybalt just taught me my first reaction. It was Joy. Definitely a cute one. We're just going to check out Nook's shopping on the ATM thing over here. Uh, nothing really too good today, so we're going to ask Tom Nook what we can do. Uh, I am so tired 
of hearing that we can't really do much. So go on to say hi to the villagers. Uh, Diva is actually doing a pretty cool DIY today. I was really excited about this one. Uh, the key holder is definitely a cute little thing that I like to add to my house. Uh, it just gives it a more homey feeling, I feel like. Um, more realistic, if that makes sense. That's definitely another reason why I love these DIYs. It's just everything's so personalized in this game. There it is, um, showing it on the phone. So I skipped ahead another day. Yeah, I know. Like, come on, stop doing it. But I'm so excited because Mabel is here finally. It took her long enough to show up. My goodness. Um, I don't remember it taking this long, honestly, but pretty excited because these clothes are horrible. But first, let's meet Dora. Love her house. The color of her door is so cute. So she is actually one of the villagers that is on one of three lists that I made of villagers for this island. Um, she is one of the black and white villager themes that I wanted to go with. Um, so I don't know if I'm definitely going to stick to that option, but I might. Nook's Cranny definitely came through today. I mean, the tarot set is definitely one of my favorite things in this game. So cute. I love crystals in real life, so that definitely goes along with the stuff that I have at home in real life. I love it. So we're going to go through all these DIYs. I don't think there's any more DIYs that we're going to get out of there. The wallpapers and the floors are definitely something that I'm interested in today. I love that green paint flooring. It brightens up any room that you put it in, for sure. Enough of Nook's Cranny. Let's go see Mabel. Yay, she's just so cute. Definitely one of the best players in the game. Um, I was really excited because she actually brought some cute stuff. Usually in the beginning, this stuff is just like, ew, why would I wear that? But I love that peasant top. I wear it often. Um, pretty excited. So, Tom, today, <laughs> guess it, guess it, nothing to do. So, i <laughs> so bummed about that. I feel like I should be doing so much more, but I think he's waiting until Isabel comes and they actually do bring in the actual building of resident services, which is fine, whatever. So, just going to do my daily chores around the island, meet the villagers, um, do my regular shopping, pull some weeds that I see, collect some fossils, probably stack up on materials. I love to do that because a lot of the things around my island will be DIYs. Um, not much of it will be bought from Nooks. There will be obviously some, but not everything. I'm just going to redeem some things with Nook Miles here. I'm going to upgrade my pocket storage. It's definitely a huge help. We are given basically no storage in our pocket, which is fine. I mean, we all have to start from the bottom, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some better tool DIYs, which definitely needed because those flimsy things are just not doing it for me anymore. But that's probably going to be the end of it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry it's so boring right now. This tutorial is not the best. I mean... Uh, we'll get there. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you come back.